Hey everybody, it's Kathy. Today I want to talk about hyperpigmentation. This is something that many of us suffer from, or I should say most of us, and it is very frustrating, I will tell you. From the point of view of an esthetician, it's probably one of the most frustrating things that we deal with. Um, so I would really encourage you to prevent as much as you can by using sunscreen every day, because prevention is the key. Once you have hyperpigmentation, there are things we can do, but it is not a quick and easy process. Um, I, I wish I could tell you, put this cream on and in a month it's going to be gone. It's, it's not that simple, unfortunately. So let's talk about how we get hyperpigmentation. We know we get it from being um, in the sun. Um, we can also get it from hormones, like when you're pregnant or uh, taking birth control pills, you get melasma. Um, many of you have seen, you know, you get that brown mustache. And then another way that people aren't always aware of is trauma to the skin. If you scratch yourself or if you really go at it uh, picking a pimple, you end up with a reddish brown sort of scar that seems to, to be there forever. That's called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And um, the good news is, though, that it's not there forever. It will fade, as opposed to regular pigmentation, this type usually fades. It can take up to a couple years, but it will fade. So what do we do with all the other pigmentation besides preventing it? Because I hope I've made that clear. That's our best, um, that's our best way of dealing with it. Let's prevent any, any, any that we can. So for what we've already got, what we need to do is use a good cleanser. I like the Purify by, by Osmosis because it's an exfoliating cleanser, which is helpful with pigmentation. The exfoliation just sort of speeds up the process of getting rid of that pigment. Then the next thing that you need is vitamin A serum. Vitamin A is, uh, even if you're using hydroquinone, which is the RX way of treating hyperpigmentation, you can get it over the counter in 2% form, or you can get it from your dermatologist um, in a 4% strength. I personally don't like hydroquinone. I don't use it, but it's definitely an option for you. It's a bleaching cream, um, and it is going to be your fastest way of dealing with hyperpigmentation. Uh, but I would recommend that you Google it and read about it before you go and get some because there's kind of a lot of controversy about it. But that is definitely the quickest way of treating the pigmentation. So, you know, be aware of that. And if you do decide to use it, be sure that you don't go beyond the brown mark when you're applying it. Apply it only to the brown because if you go beyond the edge, you can end up with the halo effect. So that's one way to treat hyperpigmentation. I'm going to talk about some other ways that I prefer. So vitamin A, as I said, if you're using hydroquinone or not, vitamin A is going to be important either way um, because it's going to speed up the cell turnover, help to get um, help to get that pigment out. So vitamin A is a big part of it. And then the other thing is melanin inhibitors. Osmosis makes something called Enlighten. And let me see if I can read to you. Their Enlighten is a blend of 12 potent liposomal lighteners that protect and repair the skin while working on the causes of pigmentation for long-term prevention. And the reason that they use 12 different lighteners and inhibitors is because the skin is really smart and if you, you just keep hitting it with the same thing the cell receptors will turn off and that won't work anymore so this way they have found that the, that by using so many it sort of prevents the skin from zeroing in on one and and not um, and not utilizing it anymore so I, I like the enlighten that's the name of it um, and it what I like about it is it's the vitamin A and the inhibitors the melanin inhibitors and lighteners all in one formula so you don't have to use extra products uh, but I will tell you it's it's really not quick I've had I have one client that's been treating a spot I think it took her 16 months um, and she's finally happy with the results so this it's not a quick fix I'm sorry I wish I could tell you otherwise um, so so that's what I would recommend that you get on you know a good cleanser I really like the enlighten you're going to want to use an antioxidant that is going to help your skin to protect itself further from new damage and help with some of the old damage. I like Replenish um, by Osmosis just because I like the way that, um, that it's formulated. But, you know, vitamin C is very beneficial when it comes to treating um, hyperpigmentation and, and uh, sun damage and aging so that's definitely something to add in so if you were my client and you came to me I would recommend to you that you use purify cleanser 
followed by Enlighten, which is your vitamin A serum and your lightening serum all mixed into one, followed by Replenish, and in the daytime you would follow that with Shelter. At night you would you would follow with Quench, which is just a, a moisturizer without sunscreen. So that's it. That's what I would recommend to you. So if you were my client, that is what I would have you do. But I would really warn you that it's not going to be quick and don't expect to look in the mirror after a week and it be gone. This is really a long process. And keep in mind that what you're treating now, what you see now, is unfortunately not all there is. If you have access to um, an esthetician, that you can run in and see, ask them to look at your face under a woods lamp. Or if you know somebody who has something called a skin scanner, it's basically a woods lamp with a mirror so you can see what they are seeing. And a woods lamp is just basically a black light, but you can see um, hyperpigmentation that's not visible to the naked eye yet. It will be one day, but so it's what's deeper down. You can see it, and let me tell you, the first time I saw what was <laughs> under my skin, it's shocking, it's scary. So when you are treating hyperpigmentation, you're not just treating what you see, you're treating what's yet to come. And it's definitely worth doing, but just know that, there, that there's more than just what you're seeing. So if you can prevent um, the pigmentation that's deep underneath, if you prevent it from coming out, then you're ahead of the game. So know that it's about more than just what you see and be patient. Uh, I hope this helps and please feel free to um, go to my website and you can email me from there and I can answer questions more easily. Um, you can make a comment below but if you have in-depth questions please just go to my website and email me that way I can kind of have a, an easier time uh, discussing things with you. So I hope this helps and please use your sunscreen. Let's, let's try to prevent it instead of having to deal with it because not fun. I hope you all have a great day today. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, kiss from me to you, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.